The Southern Idaho arts community is mourning a loss of one of its own and the founder of the Starlight Mountain Theater. Ed Davis suffered a massive heart attack last Monday and passed away Friday morning. And if you've ever been to the outdoor theater that's nestled along the bend in the Payette River in Crouch and enjoyed watching maybe Beauty and the Beast while actual wild beasts sauntered by in the background, you have Ed Davis to thank. Nearly two decades ago, the then 40 year old theater professor was told it would never work. Nobody would drive to Garden Valley and pay money to sit and see a show in an outdoor theater. And it seemed that was the way it was at first as players performed before crowds of less than a dozen people during that first month. But since then, more than 150,000 people have loved and laughed their way through the summer seasons. Four years ago, I made the trip myself to talk to Ed about getting the theater back after it's almost it almost lowered its curtain for good because of financial reasons. But the community and his family had to, well, they had too much love for Ed to let that happen. In the spring of 2000, the Starlight Mountain Theater sprang up out of the pines of Garden Valley. We opened with Joseph and the amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. It was the dream of Ed Davis, who literally built the place himself. My father and I and one of my actors. Who are we starting from? That first year, Ed's vision the song. rarely veered too far into the future. No. <laughs> no. Now, it's hard to imagine this plot of land along the Payette River without a summer performance. Oh, I love it. I mean, there's a reason that I keep coming back. And as they set the stage for their 17th season, it's almost like starting over. It was like a rebirth, you know? You this is your second chance. Before last season, Ed sold the theater for financial reasons. The new owners lasted less than a year. One season. In November, Ed was given the theater back, but without a bank account. His options were slim, so he called his kids. And I said, you know, I'm getting too old. I can't do this by myself. And what do you want to do? Should we just shut it down? We'll just swing it forward a little bit. Coming at you. Not only did Ed's son, Sky, say no, he moved back from Utah with his wife and two young kids. Starlight has always had my heart. But there's going to be. However, desire doesn't here. always pay the bills. After borrowing about $32,000 to pay for royalties, they started a GoFundMe campaign to try to raise the rest of the $75,000 they would need to make it through the season. They started at zero, and I saw it at zero, and it stayed zero for a long time, didn't it? But soon the donations came in, moving the meter. When something means something to you and someone gives. And Ed's emotions. It's, you know, it's very rewarding. You feel great about stuff you've done and that people care about it. Building a show from the bottom with little budget is not new to these Starlight players. Everybody has to do something and it just kind of depends on what you're good at, what you can contribute. This season though, those contributions carry a little more equity. It's theirs as much as mine, you know, and it's kind of fun to see. It can be kind of cliche to focus on the familial feel of the theater, not here. Everybody is a family. What started as one man's dream has since become rooted in three generations. It's important for me to have my kids know and see that I did everything that I could to make my dreams come true. Brian Holmes. Starlight's meant to be here. Idaho's News Channel 7. The Starlight Mountain Theater will also hold a celebration of life for Ed this Thursday at 7 p.m. And as the saying goes, the show must go on. The theater will have their final shows of the season this weekend. Ed's son, Sky, who plans to continue in his father's footsteps, says they can't think of a better way to send him off than to have him surrounded by his family, friends, and the actors at the theater that was his lifelong dream.